Today, we are reading the story, The Perfect Pet. We will be listening for our target vocabulary words. I will read each of our words on the screen. After I read it, I want you to say it after me. Straight. Collars. Row. Floppy. Stood. Drooled. Curly. Wade. As I read our story, The Perfect Pet, I want you to listen for each of your vocabulary words. When you hear one of these words, I simply want you to clap. Listen carefully along the way. You'll be asked some questions that you need to respond to before you continue the story. The Perfect Pet. Carla didn't have a pet, but she loved to help her next door neighbor, Mrs. Stevens, take care of her cat, Sadie. Sadie had long, straight fur the color of butterscotch. She also had seven collars, a different one for each day of the week. We're going to pause here to answer our first question. When you're finished with the question, Please return to listen to the rest of the story. Carla visited Miss Stevens and Sadie every day after school. First, she would comb Sadie's fur. Next, she would take Sadie outside to play with her favorite string toy. Then, she fed Sadie her supper. Last, she always gave Sadie a big hug and a scratch under her chin. Time for question number two, my friends. Listen carefully. When finished, continue with our story. One day, Carla's mother said, I've noticed that you take such good care of Sadie, Carla. Would you like to have a pet of your own? Yes, Carla beamed. On Saturday, Carla and her mother went to a pet shop. Carla looked at a row of fish tanks. The fish glimmered with many beautiful colors. But Carla didn't want a fish. You can't play with a fish, she said. A bunny with floppy ears stood in its pen. Carla tried to pat it, but it hopped away. You can't hug a bunny that hops away, she said. Carla and her mother tried to find a pet for Carla at an animal shelter. Carla snatched a friendly looking dog under its chin and it drooled on her. I don't think I want a pet that drools, she said. Then Carla noticed a cute puppy with curly hair. It liked to play. It liked to be hugged, and it didn't drool. Carla's mother asked how much it weighed. She only weighs four pounds now, said the shelter worker, but she'll probably be over 80 pounds when she's full grown. Carla's mother stepped back. That's too much dog for our little house, she said. I'll never find a pet as wonderful as Sadie, Carla thought. Sadie is the perfect pet. Back at home, Mrs. Stevens was outside looking worried. Oh dear, she said. I just found out that I need to move in a few months, but my new apartment doesn't allow pets. What will happen to Sadie? Let's pause here again for our third question, friends. When finished, come back for the rest of our story. Carla felt terrible for Mrs. Stevens. She wished there were some way she could help. Suddenly, Carla broke into a grin. Don't worry, Mrs. Stevens, she said. I know someone who will take good care of Sadie. And you can visit her whenever you want. All right, my friends. Great job listening. It's time for your final question. And then you're done with your target vocabulary words. 
and our story for the day.